Hello, welcome back to King of the Games, where we are still celebrating Halloween. And this time, I thought we'd go through some Resident Evil Village. Uh, so those of you who have uh, stayed with the channel, the, you may know ago, I have already played this game. I was live streaming when I first got it, in fact. It was hard at work. But I was kind of... The forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The it was my first time playing. I got all lost and confused. It took a long to time. The rascal broke free from mother's so grasp and vanished. I thought it would be cool to just do like a full power through water. Cries faded fast as the girl ran on over vine and under branch and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales and her throat became bone dry. Then the bat lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Like I said to your mom, that book's too scary for you. Almost there, honey. Now, if you wanted a bit of extra fun, then you could try and turn this into a drinking game. Sweetheart, don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy Every time Ethan suffers any sort of hand trauma, 
you have to drink. There will be a lot of that. And that's one of the challenges is to get the football into here if memory serves. Rose's favorite toy. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. I wish it could stay like this forever. Fortunately, we know that is not meant to be. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just... Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! She was not super bothered about that shot. Really should have just explained the plan, Chris. Go on, move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Saying you had ample time to explain that. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? 
Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Well, this is a fine situation to be found in. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Well, pretty sure there was some kind of accident. something running yeah definitely something out there That's where it starts. First lot of hand trauma. Definitely not the last. I don't think we're alone out here. There's far too many dead birds. Just silence that bird. <sighs> so far and good. We're in a cabin. Possibly go wrong. It's fine. It's just a creepy basement with weird banging sounds. And a wardrobe covered in blood. Okay, so that's probably not a good sign. That was most definitely some footsteps. Now you've got blood in an open wound. That's Probably not good. What did all this? 
He will soon to find out even. the village Castle Dismatress uh, shoot that's the Benevito Manor what's the windmill going to uh, what is the uh, name of my head uh, Monroe Monroe Reassuring when you get told how to attack. Yep. Definitely something out here. Definitely look like Rose's monkey. What is it with this place and hanging up dead things? What happened? Well, basically, someone's been having a load of goats and hung them up. Sent you. Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? They can't trust me. They have definitely heard that gunshot. Oh no! They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No. Why would I? He's gonna left your shotgun. Oh yeah, that's 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 the shower of blood. Dead body. No, just one. Wait, there's more. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Yep, 
That one there and dead. Yep. This is where the hand trauma really begins. Yeah, that is nasty. Mention the kind of fully powered bit, right? Uh, there's a way to change the lightsaber cut. I cannot remember what it is. How do we feel about blue? I mean, light hasn't cut through that. Trying to get in. Is that hole in the roof always there? thing about this lightsaber it does not stay lit after you get attacked Hmm. 
<laughs> oh dear. Let's keep it nice and friendly. This, I believe, is the Dragoon no you uh, use for Chris's run later. Guess about that sound I means the big guys turned up. Yep, there he be. Now, can't lie, the stake is a very powerful weapon in this game. just one shot these lower level enemies. Wow, well, I've uh, <laughs> probably lost my knack for this game. <laughs> it's been a while. can ride horses as well.
I can take him. Ethan does go through some punishment in this game. shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> I still maintain that uh, that line has a very evil dead sort of feel to it. Your time comes again. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Let's make a save. Creepy scarecrows. Do that. <laughs> Come on, there's another one out there somewhere. I can hear you. There you are. Like, given the effort it took to unlock this, <laughs> I was expecting more of it. I was kind of expecting like one hit kills from it or something like that. Oh, 
And as you can see, it takes a long old while. If you are trying uh, a knife only run, I recommend Chris's knife. It is way more effective. There it is. That's a much better melee weapon if you are going for a knife only. Okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. Fluid, why not? I'm not going to play you, can I? Come on, it's clear. Literally my response. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than um... out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Housekeeping. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> Father. For God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! I'll be honest, I'll stay out here. I've got a better chance for myself, to be honest. Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Moving. Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Quiet! Anton! He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing 
fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. It ain't gonna be me who kills you. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory. Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. You mean I? Um, bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> already gone. Leave me alone. No, we're getting out of here together. I gotta get out of here.
Damn, the fire's moving fast. <sighs> Step back. We can bust out with this. Well, we didn't exactly Ethan, bust out. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Let me back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. And we climb. Nowhere to go but up. Grab on. Hurry. Let's move. Don't worry, and try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> you're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. <coughs> Come on, it'll hold. <coughs> there, that's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. He said my name. Wait, it's not safe! Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Stay there! Uh. Uh. Come on! Uh. Give me your hand! Uh. Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Elena, uh. don't give up! Uh. Reach for me! Uh. Everyone dying on me. This is, this is just too much. Yep, that's a pretty harrowing experience. I just I don't get it. Place is going mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? That's gotta hurt the hand. Shit. Oh, she's not wrong. Guess this leads to the ca castle. Hmm. 
to Dimitrescu to Dimitrescu get me words out to uh, Dimitrescu and the two vampire lady Hey, it's Magneto. Oh, you're not local. Even better. Mother Miranda's gonna love you. You're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> the man is of no real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so love entertaining foreigners. Uh. Furthermore, I can show you that you entrust the mortal to house the address. My daughters and I will deliver the final. Why ugly? If I want to see. He's away! Oh, he's away. Oh, you shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private? And where's the fun in that? Give him to me, and I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Oh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Gag, gag, the man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision! You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well Oh, to keep growing! One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight! 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 Hey, don't fight, I get a fight, say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Ha. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for winning. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you have here. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No way! Ten. Not a good place to be. Shit! <laughs> My 
word. You truly are as strong as they say. Well, I was kind of, kind of hoping. So now it's time for the beautiful, blood-soaked grand finale. <laughs> Nothing like fresh American ground beef. <laughs> Do those freaks have Rose? And there we are. One death trap evaded. I think on that note, we will call it for this episode. As always, thank you for joining me. If you do uh, enjoy these videos, please do like and subscribe. Also, please do come back for the next episode. We'll continue from here. Please do stay awesome, and I shall see you next time.